Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Serenity Soul Invictus. I'm so happy you're joining me today. Guess what you guys, I just did a very long video and I deleted it. <laughs> I feel so retarded right now. But anyways, I just came back from out running. I did seven miles this morning and I cannot stop drinking water. I just drank like this whole thing myself. My other jug is empty, well almost empty. I guess I'm going to have to drink that until I get some more water. But Oh my gosh, you guys, running is the best thing in the world. It feels the worst, but it feels the best at the same time. Like exhausting yourself is like the best thing you can do for your life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to talk about something. I want to talk about female feminine empowerment. I want to talk about us women actually learning to strengthen ourselves learning to actually go within ourselves to know ourselves understand ourselves a little bit more and power up man i want us to stop being 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 inferior beings to men i want this to change and i am not a feminist i am not a feminist okay at all i am i am a female okay so i definitely support my feminine counterparts but guess what? I'm seeing all of these things take place and it's angering me to the core. Okay, let's start off with Coachella. <laughs> Baychella. <laughs> you guys know, you're hearing it all over the place about how Bay slayed Coachella, right? Yes, we know that. I am a total Bay fan. I was actually kind of 50-50 at one point, but now as I'm getting a little bit more knowledgeable about her, I'm actually going looking in more of a, into more of her personal life and stuff like that, looking at interviews and watching all of these things, and she's tapping into all of this goddess energy and stuff. It's just amazing, right? So hubby and I were talking yesterday, and <clears throat> sound a little raspy, and we were talking about Michael Jackson, right? So here it is, Michael Jackson, we know is like the most influential person or entertainer of our time, right? So he's like, who else do you think could be compared to Michael Jackson's status? Like, like who is as influential as him in our time? And I was like, uh, the, the other Michaels, like Michael Jordan, Michael, my Archangel Michael, <laughs> Jesus, you know what I mean? And... I said, okay, let's just put the fun and jokes aside. I'll say, in my opinion, I'll say Beyonce because Beyonce is a force to be reckoned with, okay? That Bay slays, okay? <laughs> so he's like, oh, well, mm, I don't really like Beyonce like that. Like, yeah. I'm like, why not? And he's like, well, you know, I think she's a little overrated. She's this, she's that, she's all this, blah, 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 blah. So I had to just jump in and say, well, okay, this is why I feel this way because I feel like after getting a little bit more knowledgeable about her and stuff like that, I don't get take all the celebrity shit to heart <laughs> but because I have a life. But <laughs> at the same time, you can't help but to see what's going on in the world around you. And either you like it or you don't. So I'm like, why? You know, I said, then he said that. And I said, because I feel like her passion is very comparable. She's done it for pretty much all her life from childhood. That's pretty comparable. Her work ethic pretty comparable very much similar you know you don't see her all about getting in scandals and stuff like that ruining her reputation she's a family woman she's a boss like and she's like <clears throat> in one interview I, I watched she's like you know yeah she's like i'm not bossy i'm the boss like you just have to know certain things you just know you have a knowing of and people may call you conceited people may say you're full of yourself but as a boss you gotta know okay you can't be guessing all right but back now to what I'm talking about, the conversation with hubby, I just washed my hair so everything is fuzzy, everything looks like, you know, I just rolled out of bed, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't even do my nails, y'all. Like, <laughs> But <clears throat> back to the topic, the, 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 the point I'm trying to make here is how I feel like men feel about women who are powerful, who are influential, who are divas. She, Beyonce is like the biggest diva of our time and I remember when that song came out I was in probably grade 10th grade 11th grade 
maybe 12th grade i can't remember i think it was like 99 so it's like 11th grade um no 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 and me saying yeah 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 okay from then i'm like this girl is gonna go far because if she keeps up with it and she perseveres and just keeps on her grind she's gonna make it places and people everywhere is gonna know her name right that was 18 years ago wow time goes fast but anyways the reason I said that was because she's remained relevant. She has not fallen off. She has not like, you know, disappeared and tried to come back. And when she did come back, when she did go away for a little bit and came back, she had reinvented herself and came back even bossier, like, you know, married to a boss, you know, <laughs> parents are bosses. Like that's comparable to me. So. The point I'm trying to make, though, in talking about all this before I start yelling for everyone to hear me is a lot of the times the males around us actually don't want to see us rise up. They don't want to see us level up to a level that we're going to be more superior or make them feel inferior to us. So whenever you see a powerful, influential black woman, you're going to find haters. You're going to find guys like that who are going to say, oh, well, you know, mm -mm, she it's better than her. Of course it's better. Well, you show me it though. <laughs> show me it though. You know? And I didn't ask if you like her. You didn't ask me who I felt more is more likable. I said who's more influential in our time, right? The topic here is not about Beyonce. This is not about Coachella. This is not about music, Michael Jackson, nor none of that. This is about us females. I when I went when I go running in the mornings, right? This has been, this is now my fourth, I think third, fourth, fourth going on fifth year of running, right? That was the best habit I could have picked up in my whole life because that's going to go with me for the rest of my life because there's nothing more amazing than feeling good, than using your energy, than taking care of your body, than staying fit, active, keeping it moving, you know? This is very important. A lot of females let themselves fall, fall off horribly. Then you see them out. They're the ones out chasing the men. The men need to chase you, man. The men, the men need to chase you. You are the prize, all right? You are the prize. Always remember that. I see some guys around here. They act like they walk on water. Like they act like literally like you should actually drop your mouth, get on your knees and pay homage, worship them. They ain't the, 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 the second coming. Like, <laughs> and females, we have to stop giving our power away so much. We give our power to anybody who pays us a little attention or says a little compliment to us. We just throw our whole power into their hands and say, here, just take that. I don't need it no more. Like, <laughs> you are doing yourself a great disservice when you do that, you know? Use your power wisely. Use your power. Take care of your children. Take care of yourself. Take care of your home. You know, stop worrying about the clubs. Who are you going to chase some guy at? Like, you know, these guys don't care about you like that. You know what they care about. One thing they care about, you know? And, and, and it's sickening to see. I saw a video just earlier about, um, it's about... 16 20 gals there outside of a nightclub somewhere i don't know if this is abroad or where i live oh man they putting a beat down on on each other okay and one of the girls like her whole dress is up like you can see everything like everything she's pantyless she she's braless she but her weave stuck though her weave her weave did not move like that cap that lace that shit did not budge <laughs> nobody's shit budged so i'm like wow where y'all get your glue at like <laughs> but needless to say i bet you they were fighting over some stupid dude they were fighting over some lame duck some flipping lousy ass nigga who don't give a shit about none of them and that's the way you're gonna portray yourself that's the way you're gonna put yourself out on social media you're all and to be seen by the world you know, acting like mongrels, acting like animals, wild animals from the jungle. And it's like really, it's really appalling to see. It's really distasteful. It's really demeaning. It's really dis disgusting is what it is. Then I see females. We see females who like, you know, all day they're on like social media. They're on WhatsApp. They're on, on whatever, changing their profile pictures like 24-7. And they're like, like. 
<laughs> you think that's gonna get the guy? Is that enough to get the guy? You think you did enough? Okay. All right then. Cool. Still ain't got the guy. All right. And these are the girls. These are the girls who their men are leaving them with babies, leaving them as single mothers, leaving them for some other chicks. Okay. Tell me, is it worth it? Is it worth it? What we put our time and focus and effort into is all that we are, okay? That's what we become. And I did a video talking about this one time ago, but I don't remember how long ago, but it, it's the truth. You know, what you put your effort and your focus into, that's all you are. You know, this is why they call some people the, the, the word they do, you know, thoughts. <laughs> and it's, it's crazy because, because hold on I'm just trying to see something I'm trying to get a, a definition here of something okay <clears throat> a thought is a hoe <laughs> as if you didn't know already okay with plural being thoughties alright so these thoughties are out here fighting like cats and dogs in the street over some lousy jack <laughs> who don't care about none of them alright like I said now a lot of the times, these are the same females now. They've got kids at home that don't have no daddies. Their daddies push out a long time ago. Yet they still have hair fighting for some new dude. Like so, It's pathetic. And I want us to actually open our eyes up and see what we're doing to ourselves, what we're doing to our children, what we are, what we're teaching them, whether it's consciously or subconsciously. All right? Um... We have the power to change things. We have the power to manifest things. We have the power to create, to influence. We have the power to actually build. And, and, and like, we also have the power though to tear down. We have the power to destroy. We have the power to manipulate and, and, and lie and cheat. We have all of these powers. What are you gonna choose your power for? You know, I love to see when I see older women, I see older women, instead of them falling off and starting to say, well, you know, mm, this is it for me, you know, ah, Lord, the old lady right here, I just, you know, mm. <laughs> it is not that serious, man. You're only as old as you feel. Okay. And I love to see, like, like I talk about before, Blackberry Beauty Academy, uh, what's her name? Lisa. Kudos to her channel. Kudos to you, Lisa, because you're doing it. And I love to see females empowering other females. We need to be that encouragement, that motivation for one another, not just hating on one another. You hate on one another, then the men come around and oppress us at the same time. Then we sit down and commiserate with one another and be like, oh, Lord, man of dogs. Like, you know, he ain't no good man out here. Like, <laughs> yes, there are. You just ain't seen none yet because you wasting your life with some jack who don't appreciate you who don't value you who you chasing and he ain't worth shit <laughs> sorry for the profanity but this is just a very intense topic and and and, and i'm worked up i've been running for seven miles okay <laughs> i am like pumping with blood right now i don't know i i see some situations where females have like like um males in their lives and these females are quite capable of taking care of themselves i mean this is myself included to be honest i am not gonna lie i'm gonna be honest as possible you know we as females need to stop being so dependent on these men we need to stop being dependent and start to take care of ourselves we are living in a new age there's no excuse anymore yes i believe a man is supposed to take care of his queen yes i believe that a hundred percent but at the same time a queen can only be crowned a queen if she's able to do something for herself if you have to put your if you have to put your hand out and ask a man for every single thing that you need you know all your life's needs the necessities and then the children come and ask then he's gonna start subconsciously comparing you to one of them the children okay that's not what we want we want to boss up we want to actually level up and own harness our own power stop handing our power away nobody can treat us the way we've been treated if we can take care of ourselves and I see some females who are intelligent who are beautiful who are so gifted and talented who are like 
They have the mind of a 20 year old, even though they are young. I mean, even though they are older now, middle-aged ladies and stuff like that, who are strong women, use their power. They use their strength. They waste it. They use it with these scumbag narcissist people who aren't worth a lump of puppy shit. Okay. These guys can't even take care of themselves. They might be making a couple of dollars, but they don't have no sense. They don't have no intellect. They don't have no intelligence. They don't have no upbringing. They don't have nothing, no morals, no values, no education, no, no nothing. Yet they're using us powerful, intelligent, gifted individuals, females, goddesses, queens to, I guess, keep them up on their throne. This is has this has, has got to stop, and this is why I love talking about my grandma because my grandma has always instilled that in me. I will never be anybody's doormat, okay? She went through some terrible hardships in her life, but she has taught me that lesson through her hardships. I will never, and I thank her every day of my life because for if it weren't for that, I will know where I would be. I would not be coming to you for sure with this message because she would not have instilled that in me. So this is why I'm here to be the light today. I'm here to deliver on this message. I'm here to shine light on this situation because we have to be the light. We have to be the change that we want to see in the world. We can't just sit around and talk about shit and don't be the change. You got to be the change, okay, in order for you to see the change. I want us to stop downing ourselves i want us to stop chasing men okay we are the catch and if you truly believe that you are the catch you will start living as if you will start acting as if you will start behaving talking walking looking as if i'm the catch now that don't mean i'm gonna just be baited and like you know you just hook me up no that's not what I mean I mean I don't go out chasing guys okay there is no there is no man on this earth who is gonna walk superior to me okay who is over me I am my own queen I am my own goddess I am goddess of my household as well but I am divine feminine okay that's what you have to start looking at yourself as when you do that the way you operate is going to completely change you're going to start taking care of yourself baby you're going to start exercising you're going to start feeding yourself right you're going to start feeding yourself with positive thoughts you're going to stop hanging around with other chicks who are other thoughts thoughties who actually mean no good to your life who are quick to sleep with your man who are quick to take your boy who are quick to talk behind your back talk smack okay who would be quick all right you would actually clean out your circle you will clean start to clean out your life you would start to make different changes and decisions that are going to benefit you moving forward you're going to take care of your children that's what matters okay you you want to walk with integrity you want to stop carrying on like cats and dogs and wild hyenas in the street. You're going to actually move like you are divine. All right? That divinity comes from within. Knowing yourself, like I said before, you could know every single strand of hair you have. The knowledge of self is very important. But knowing yourself is one part of the problem, one part of solving the problem. Operating on this knowledge of self is the other part. You can know yourself to, from here to Jabim, till thy kingdom come, and don't do nothing to act upon it, to make anything change or anything improve in your life. To ameliorate the situation, you have to act upon the knowledge of self now. What is it that I want? What is it that I desire to see happen in my life? What are valuable to me right now, you know? Who are most supportive in my life of me right now and my values, my ethics, my goals, my dreams, my aspirations? This is what you need to start asking yourselves, females. Take care of yourselves, females. Don't be chasing no niggas, females, okay? You're putting yourself down, you know? Even though the guy may be telling you, you so trip over this guy, you're like, oh, you don't know, you don't know, sister, like, you don't know, okay? Like, me and him just like, <laughs> where is he right now? What's he, what you think he doing? You think he talking about you like that? Probably not. 
I see some guys, I don't want to make this video much longer, but I see some, some guys I know, like, they like, they're perpetual dogs. Like, they live a life of, of, a life of philandering. They live a life of multiple females. They live a life like that. That is their life. And it's normal. So for the females who are going to stoop to their level, they are always going to trample over you, sisters, sistren. So until you get that through your mind, and remember that your mind is where it all is at, where it's all at, this is where you're going to transform your life. And I just wanted to bring this message to you guys today because it is called for and it's in my spirit to say this to you all. So until I come back with another great topic, I'm going to ask you to hit like on this video if you're feeling me. Give me some feedback in the comments below and do subscribe to my channel. Remember the notification bell that is next to it that is going to notify you when I come back with some new content or a live stream or whatever. I don't know why I'm doing the Donald Trump thing, but you get me. <laughs> to my new subbies and my old subbies, you guys are awesome. You rock. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for joining my channel. And you know there is so much more ahead for us to be looking forward to. So thanks once again. I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to get some more water. And I don't even know what I did with my jug. Oh my gosh, I'm thirsty. <laughs> So until I come back with a new topic, peace and love, guys. Blessed be and namaste. Boss up, sweet girls. <laughs>